Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of New Scotland Fishing Adventures. I've got Olive with me today because it's a little bit nicer. You can see her. I've even got a trail camera on her, a GoPro. Um, so there'll be some interesting shots today, maybe with uh, with her perspective. I've got some uh, pretty nice uh, wet flies, nymphs, um, that I'm going to use today. Being as nice as it is, I wouldn't doubt if later on there's actually a hatch that happens. But the water level's uh, pretty high on this uh, river. Um, it's, uh, it's an undisclosed river in the, in the Greenwood area. I'm not really gonna disclose it because a lot of the locals here like to fish this, uh, this section and it's not a crazy popular river. So I'm gonna basically um, respect the privacy, keep what there is in here to uh, the people that already know where this river is, but that's not gonna stop me from filming. If you guys recognize this, uh, you recognize it and uh, I love coming here this is my uh, my spring fishing spot that I like to go to Olive come here but this is a pretty uh, pretty nice spot especially as the spring progresses into uh, early summer um, but unfortunately by uh, uh, really into the summer and late summer this river pretty much is unfishable it's uh, it's so low um, because it's mainly, it gets its water source mainly from all the melt or any significant rainfall that we get from the year. Hey, take it easy. Okay. Come here, baby. Come on. Come here, girl. Yeah. <laughs> bit ramped up even after a few swims there I was kind of hoping that that would tuck her out a little bit but we'll try and I'm gonna have to try and kind of wrangle her in in this one section she's just doing donuts here check this out Olive come here she's just so happy to be out with me this season it's been a long winter um, any of you guys living in Nova Scotia can kind of very much agree with that. We had a lot of precipitation this year, and when it did get cold, it was cold for a long time. And then so far the spring has been kind of on the bus, off the bus with regards to uh, snow, rain, freeze, thaw. <laughs> Thank you. 
guys are wondering what kind of cast I'm throwing here, it's a Snap, snap T Spay cast or a Circle C. The reason is, is because you guys can't see, but right behind you here, there's a row of trees and, uh, or bush, bush trees kind of idea. And the thing is, is even throwing a roll cast with this current is a little bit difficult because it has a tendency it has a tendency to grab your uh, your anchor as you place in the water quicker than getting the, the line back out and present uh, presented like that. My line ends up falling back on itself more commonly than, than anything else. Whereas a snap T or a circle C offers more power and a quick re uh, presentation out to where you're targeting your fish. It's nice and warm. Oh, it's a lot of winter damage in this area that I'm really seeing right now. You don't notice it when the snow melts and you come down here and you scope the area out. Yesterday, this area, when I came down to take a look, was there was no snow on the ground. This is all from overnight and accumulation through the day. So, this is our uh, late March. Um, winter snowstorm that we typically get sometimes it pushes into April you never you never really know when you're gonna get it but you can count on something happening but from here on out she's gonna be pretty much blue skies I think yeah we'll see how how the spring carries on guys well I'm completely frozen now my hands are pretty numb even after you know doing all the tricks sticking them in my armpits and folding them up into a fist in your glove and even with the wool the wool's generally pretty good uh, at retaining heat value even when it's cold but this water temperature is so so cold that I don't think it matters I'm gonna fish the same spot as the other day, and hopefully today, um, for one, I'm not freezing. Um, my hands are relatively nice and warm. It's a beautiful spring day. I just can't get over how this turned out. Hopefully, we'll get things sorted out and maybe even land a, a brook trout or so. They're quite nice in here. And there's also, believe it or not, this river, there are salmon in it. This far up the Annapolis River, uh, there are salmon, salmon par, in this river now understand and i've said it before in previous episodes you're not allowed to keep the salmon oh fellas if you get caught with a the salmon they will take everything but your teeth not the salmon the fish cops so be wary uh don't please put those salmon back let them let them grow up i'd love to see salmon in these rivers again it's uh right now there's only a few rivers in the province where there are an abundance of salmon um, but there are a load of watersheds in this province where there's abundance of salmon par and if they're allowed to basically grow up and become mature without actually reading a little bit more than what I've just said into it I would not take a chance in getting caught with a salmon salmon par at all just because of the fact that um, me personally I'd rather see the species uh, survive so that we can fish them uh, under the sport 
regulating uh, 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 conditions that we used to have in this province all over again. I mean, what a great fish. I just wanted to share with you, I have caught salmon in here. And in the ballpark, nothing more than 10 inches, eight to 10 inches, um, your salmon par. Hey guys, since I've been on the water now for just about 15 minutes, I'm fishing with a pheasant tail nymph. Um, this year it's hit or, or this time of year it's hit or miss with, uh, with a nymph uh, or a wet fly pattern. However, um, this is pretty wicked. There's a uh, stonefly hatch on the go. So if you don't know much about stoneflies, they actually spend 99% uh, of their life in the water and they only spend the better part of a day out of the water after a hatch. They have a pretty cool life cycle and their uh, life cycle of 99% in the water, as I mentioned, can be uh, uh, in the ballpark of a year to a year and a half living in the water as a nymph and then moving up to the surface when they're ready to hatch as an emerger. And then as soon as they reach the top, um, they kind of uh, struggle a little bit more as an emerger into a dry fly pattern as a stone fly. And I'm actually quite tempted here in a little bit to throw a dry fly on just to see what happens because a lot of fish will take a stone fly um, as an emerger or as a dry fly at the surface. Um, obviously in the off season months and stuff like that, they'll take a, uh, a nymph or a wet uh, and I mean, throw the dice It's any time of the year they could be taking those patterns. but. Most of the times that a fish will take a stonefly is near the surface or actually as it's hatching and getting ready to fly off. Because of the amount of struggle, uh, trout are super predators and they like to go after, they like to hunt and they like to prey and stalk. So I might actually throw something on here in a bit and I'll make sure that I show you guys before I do that. Um, but right now I'm not having much luck with the pheasant tail nymph. So I'm probably gonna switch it up here soon anyway to something else wet and uh, we'll see, all right. Get it, girl. Whoa, good girl. There. That's the target zone I want.
Hey guys, I don't know if you can see this really well right now. Um, try and focus that in for you. Olive, Olive, you're definitely not helping, baby. I know you're, you're, yeah, you're super jealous. Yes, you are. Okay. Watch out, girl. All right, so this guy here, this is a Royal Coachman Wet. I'm gonna throw it on just to see. It's got wings, and like I said before, with the emerger patterns, um, they have a tendency to uh, to have some luck. If I don't have any luck with this, it's totally fine. I'll uh, I'll throw something else on. Um, I'm not in a hurry today, so we'll see. anybody has any cool recipes that they like to do with brook trout or any type of trout really, or even fish, feel free to comment. But fish tacos are my drug of choice with food. I tried it and I fell in love with it immediately. You have an avocado that you can slice up into long strips. You could also make up some guacamole ahead of time. Either or is really good. And anyway, what you do is you pan fry it. You have your onions, you have your mushrooms. You want to definitely season with salt, maybe a hint of pepper. And then from there, pan fry it, skin and all. Uh, you can do a filet or you can do the head chopped off uh, and the whole body from there down. Got it, obviously. Until your skin gets right crispy, you can chunk it up, mash it in with the onions and garlic. I'm getting you guys hungry, aren't I? You melt some cheese on a soft taco or a burrito or whatever it is that you want. And I like soft tacos. And, or you can just put the cheese on. You can heat it up on a fry pan if you want to, melt that cheese, that's the best way to do it. But if not, just drizzle the cheese uh, with the fish and the, all your toppings and your, your fixings with it, as we say. And basically then place your avocados on or guac. I like guac too. And then you just basically wrap it up and you eat it. It's nice and clean. There's, as far as eating in the bush goes, there's no utensils needed. And it is, oh, I'm just, I really want to catch a trout now and do it. We're going to do that this year though. We're going to do some fish and cooks, especially when I get out to my cottage property. Hey folks, how's it going? So this wraps up today's uh, session on this section of river here. And uh, we got skunked. It's the way it goes. Um, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the snow and then the not snow. If you enjoyed today, smash that like button for me. It'll help out greatly. Yes, also, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. 
that way you guys can stay tuned, especially if you hit that notification bell for future episodes that I yes, post. They're sit. coming at you regularly this year. That's it. All right, tight lines, everyone. <laughs> Are you hungry, puppy? Are you hungry, puppy? Arr, arr, arr. <laughs>